Welcome back, fellow mutants. Today I will show you a quick and easy way to create and animate a simple character. I am an illustrator and graphic designer. I am here to tell you today that it doesn't have to be hard and you don't have to have a team of people. You just need an idea and a passion to drive you to create your animation. I will be using Adobe Illustrator and Adobe After Effects. Currently I am working on an animation of my own and I thought I would share some of my process with you. For this example, I chose to create one of my favourite characters from a cartoon called Adventure Time. I'm sure many of you have heard of it. But to start off, I'm going to create Finn the Human in Adobe Illustrator. You can use Photoshop too if you prefer your animation to have a hand-drawn feel, but for this character, a vector style will suit best. So first you want to create layers. Using layers is important not only in illustrating, but it's a must in animating. Layers allow you to keep your objects separate from one another. For example, if I want to move just the arm, I can move it without affecting anything else. But if the leg was in the same layer, they would both be affected. Make sure you name your layers so you know what is in them, then create each object in that layer. Once the character you've created is complete, save the file and then open Adobe After Effects. Drag your Illustrator file into After Effects and make sure to choose Composition. This just makes sure that all your layers are separate and it doesn't just open up as one layer. Next you'll drag all your layers into your composition. Place them in their correct place if they aren't already. Then using the puppet tool, pin each area the joint would be, or where you want it to bend. Before you create your animation, open each layer, click Deform and open each pin layer. Go to the start of the timeline, select all the layers and click on the timestamp. Click on the timestamp twice to remove any other timestamps and to create a new one. Move forward on the timeline and move the pin to where you want the object to move and then click the diamond to create another timestamp. Do this until you have the animation you want. Watch it back to see if you need to adjust the timestamps. The closer the timestamps are, the quicker the object will move.
Once you're happy with the character animation, select all the layers. Right click and click pre-compose. This will bind all your character layers into one layer so you can move all the layers together easily. If you double tap on this, it will show you all the separate layers again in case you need to adjust your character. Now you can add in a background and watch back your animation to make sure it looks good before rendering. Once you're happy with the results, you can click Composition, Add to Render Queue and choose your render settings. This is how my test animation of Finn the Human turned out. Hello. I hope this video inspires you to animate and not to be afraid of it being too difficult. If you'd like to show some support to my channel, please subscribe, like the video and comment down below if you have any further questions. Thanks for watching. Farewell.